New digital technologies and applications provide educators with the opportunity to improve the quality of teaching materials by using different formats and multimedia components that can be delivered to students through different methods, communication channels and platforms. This unit of the Inverted Methodologies NOOC is focused on using technological tools and applications to develop engaging learning content as a factor for successful flipped learning sessions. During this training session are discussed the following issues. Types of content for the flipped classroom lectures. Preparing video lectures, technical issues and tools. Enhanced video quality, aspects and recommendations. Platforms to store and use video lectures. After the successful completion of this training unit, the learners are expected to improve their knowledge and understanding about what are the main types of flipped classroom content and the main differences between them? What equipment and technological solutions to be used for developing flipped learning content? How to enhance the video lecture's quality by focusing on lighting, audio components and eye contact with the camera? Where to store video lectures as to ensure online access for the students? The concept of the flipped classroom is about presenting classic lectures that present background knowledge on subject area topics and are presented live in traditional learning in video format so that they are made available online to students. Undoubtedly, this enables students to access learning content outside of class hours at a time and place that is convenient for them, with each student going through the material at their own pace and on the other hand, this gives the teachers the opportunity during their lessons to conduct in-depth discussions on the topics already presented to support the students in the practical application of what they have already learned while considering the individual needs of the students and clarifying any misunderstandings that have arisen. A wide variety of technological solutions that facilitate the implementation of flipped methodologies are now available. Having access to these technological tools and solutions, direct lecturers can experiment with creating different types of digital content to be used in the flipped classroom sessions. Here are some of them. Podcasts. They are audio recordings made available on the internet for direct downloading via dedicated apps or website. There are many podcast platforms where it could be found podcasts on nearly any subject that are available at no cost. Podcasts could be created by lecturers in the form of lecture recording or in the form of supplementary resources such as class instructions, assignments guidelines, expert interviews, examples, short stories. Voiceover slide presentations. The cheaper way to Prepare lecture for flipped classroom is to combine animated presentation and audio narration. In this case, it is necessary a specific software able to grab our voice and produce an audio file which to be synchronized with the slide presentation. The most important is that this type of content is not very resource consuming, which means that the risk of students not being able to reach the content due to technical or internet connectivity problems is very low. Video lectures. Video lectures allow for both audio and video of the lecturer plus visualization of the slide presentation. The ability to change or switch to different views, instructor slides, different angles and zoom increases the level of student's concentration and can be considered the most effective from a learning point of view. As clear, the effectiveness of this solution is better than a voiceover slide presentation lecture, even only for the expressions and gestures of the speaker that support the learning process. The recommendation is that video lectures should be no longer than 10 minutes, according to most of the authors, while the most effective are the considered 
from 3 to 6 minutes videos. In addition to providing background knowledge of a topic prior to class, this type of flipped content can be used to provide laboratory demonstrations, problem solving and real life examples. When conducting laboratory classes, it is appropriate for students to be familiarized in advance with what will be done in class through a short demonstration video prepared by the instructor. Using the capabilities of technology can ensure the recording of the demonstration process from different angles and the opportunity to observe important details, zones, in close-up, as well as the addition of explanatory visual components in pop-up windows, something that is not possible in the traditional face-to-face -face processes. Pre-class short video lectures are suitable for presenting a given problem and the proposed approaches to solving it. For this purpose, both recordings of a conventional whiteboard with a web camera or smartphone and recordings of the content of an interactive whiteboard with special video recording software can be used. It is substantial for STEM subjects where problem solving is crucial. In case it is not possible to visit a real place or observe a real situation or case, as smartphone video cameras become more and more powerful, the instructor can make a high quality short video to make the concepts more tangible and engaging the students. To facilitate effective experimental learning based on collaboration, group discussions and active class participation, it is common practice to assign students to record short video clips using a smartphone of interviews with members of their community or family or to film their own outdoor experiences. The most professional and high quality video lectures can be created by recording it in a dedicated studio where is used an interactive whiteboard that allows for enriching the lecture with videos, animations and other multimedia components and are available multiple cameras and a video mixer to switch between different views and slides. Regardless of how you decide to create your video content, you'll need two main technical components, a microphone and a camera. Good audio quality is a very important element of video lectures. There are several options for you to select the right microphone you need. Laptop microphones. These built-in microphones are sufficient for a basic flipped classroom recording. Keep in mind that these onboard microphones cannot distinguish the background noises from the main audio, so you'll need a quiet environment. Webcam microphones. These microphones deliver better sound than onboard laptop microphones and offer options for filtering background noise. USB microphones. These dedicated microphones are bigger than webcam microphones but are also portable. Smartphone microphones. They provide the possibility the recording to be made away from the phone and, last but not least, offer the best combination of quality, cost and added flexibility. The video quality is the other key factor for flip learning. There is a big variety of high quality portable cameras at different prices in the market and their number is growing up continuously as well as the provision of wide range of capabilities. Webcams. Web cameras are small easy portable cameras with relatively limited capabilities that are connected to a computer or integrated in a device and allow their image to be seen online. Most modern laptops have built-in front-facing webcams, many of which are suitable for sharing a lecture. For higher image quality, there are external USB webcams which also include microphones digital SLR cameras and camcorders. There is a wide variety of camcorders and digital SLR cameras. Camcorders can produce good quality video and also can zoom well with built-in specially calibrated zoom lenses. Professional cameras in this category are more expensive because they have high performance sensors that guarantee very clear and realistic images 
and high quality motion rendering. Some camcorders and all digital SLRs support interchangeable lenses for different recording needs. These cameras are a good option for recording on the go as they have internal memory on a hard drive or memory card. Smartphone cameras. Many of today's smartphones have video cameras providing quality that until recently could only be achieved with expensive professional video cameras. For a more professional video look, it is recommended to use additional accessories such as smartphone tripods, which are inexpensive and give videos a cleaner look, a smartphone mount lenses that can help capture narrow shots and wide-angle views. Smartphone cameras are also a good solution for educators who make videos out in the field. Document cameras. Document cameras provide a static overhead camera lighting and surface that is suitable for displaying paper documents and other small items. Interactive whiteboard. Like a document camera, the smart board allows the formulas, drawings, equations and text that the teacher normally writes on the board to be recorded and reproduced digitally in real time. Screen capturing tools. Screen recorders, screen casting software and screen capture software are different names for the same tools that allow you to record and the output of your computer screen. There are a wide variety of screen capture tools. Icepring Suit and Filmora Screen are paid and there are also a wide variety of free tools such as FreeCam, Free Screen Video Recorder, ShareX and Cam Studio. Usage of many cameras. Sometimes one camera angle just isn't enough. You may need to capture multiple simultaneous group actions integrate individual recordings of participants in a discussion or present a simulation recorded from different angles and perspectives. Searching on the web we can find tens of free software solutions for preparing flipped learning content. Giving a complete list of these software is impossible since their number change rapidly. The video tools could be systemized in the following three categories. Video creation tools. These tools provide functionality related to creating and recording video tutorials and presentations via screencasts. Tools for editing and adding visual effects. These tools ensure the export of the video files in different file formats such as MP4, MOV, AVI, etc. Video integration tools. These tools provide a variety of instruments such as a drag and drop system for creating video, intuitive editors for creating hotspots and branching scenarios realized via branching with native video clicks or image clicks as well as question answer based branching. From the education perspective, the possibility of collecting data about the trainees engagement tracking, getting individual data for the completion and performance rate of every trainee plus feedback with them is one of the most important features of these tools. Hybrid video tools. This category incorporates video creation tools with a built-in functionality allowing the formative assessments, components and possibility for collaboration to be integrated into the flipped videos. The interactive resource Video Tools for Flipped Learning accompanying this lecture provides a lot of information about the most popular tools from each of the categories discussed as well as some additional links. Just do not miss it. Lighting, audio components and eye contact with the camera are crucial to the video quality. These aspects should be carefully considered during video development. A careful approach to lighting is essential to ensure video quality and contributes to the video lectures being more realistic and engaging for the audience. When recording a video, it is good that the subject is well lit. 
Natural lighting comes in through a window behind the camera is the best choice. But this is not always possible when recording live, so artificial lighting, home and office lamps, is resorted to. Bright lights directly behind the subject creates a silhouette effect that reduces video quality. The subject you are capturing on video should be evenly lit to avoid deep and harsh shadows that degrade video quality. This is achieved by placing three home or office lights in specific locations related to the subject and camera. The three-point lighting system shown in the following figure is the best solution for preparing videos. The key and fill lights are set at an angle of approximately 45 degrees. The key light should be the brightest of the three and provide most of the light on the subject. Audio quality For all videos, the audio component must be of high quality. When it comes to educational video lectures, the audio should be free of background noises because they distract students from the content. The ideal solution is to shoot the video in a professional soundproof studio, a high goal that often cannot be achieved due to various objective and subjective reasons. Record in as quiet an environment as possible. Make sure there is no chance of sudden noises like a phone ringing, pet sounds, etc. The microphone should be close enough to the lips that you can speak normally. It is a good idea to make a short test recording before starting the official recording to check the quality and sound levels. Monitor the software's indications of the sound levels. Eye contact with the camera can influence students' perception and stimulate their engagement because they will have the feeling that you are addressing them directly. The camera position should be at eye level, otherwise you will be forced to look up or down at an unnatural viewing angle that students won't see in a face-to-face -face interaction. When the camera is pointed upwards to at your face, it usually doesn't provide the best view to your students. When presenting, move away from the camera if possible by sitting or standing a bit further back, thus changing the direction of the gaze from the camera to the content will look smoother. If you usually wear glasses, the glare from your computer screen can become a distraction. To reduce the intensity of glare, you can move a little away from the monitor or reduce its brightness. Subtitles are a common complement to the videos in various contexts. One obvious application is for translation from foreign languages, while video narration is in language the learners are not familiar with. Moreover, using subtitles will activate students' listening and speaking parts of the brain. At last, the students will be able to pause the video and use a dictionary or external resource to study the unknown words or read about the topic that they are not familiar with. There are a wide variety of web-based platforms that allow videos to be stored and used. Below is provided a list of some sites where videos can be stored. YouTube is the most popular video hosting site in the world. Any internet connecting device a student may own will work with YouTube. Since YouTube is blocked in many schools, this may not be a viable option. Vimeo provides a nice looking interface for distributing online videos. Although this platform has limitations related to transfer space, its exam frameworks, collaboration features and customization capacity makes it makes it an attractive solution for online course creators. Other options to consider are Panopto, Cultura, Screencast.com, Google Drive, and Learning Management Systems.
Thank you for your commitment. Thank you.